welcome to another video um, this video is sort of like a prequel video I plan on doing uh, my first ASMR video I'm really excited about it but really nervous because I love ASMR I just want to do the genre justice um, but I wanted to do an unboxing first uh, this is a um, sort of antique style um, quill pen calligraphy set that I got from Wish and um, I've opened it but I haven't actually used it at all I believe um, it was about $12 and the shipping I think was about $9 so it was about 20 something dollars and I paid it in two payments so like two payments of like nine or ten um, but it came a little while back and I've been excited to use it and show you guys. So let me go ahead and open it up. It's like a little foam piece right here. And here's the set right here. So it comes with um, first the really pretty quill pen. Um, they had it in a variety of colors. So they had this sort of um, reddish color. They had blue, white, black, um, I think maybe a couple more colors, but I really wanted this pretty burgundy red color because this reminds me most of um, like old school and the tutors and kind of anything they would have used to write. And plus this is a really regal color, this dark burgundy color. Um, it also comes with this little um, tea light candle right here that comes in this plastic. And it comes with this little jar. Um, it says the feather pen ink, but it's just a jar. There's no actual ink in it. So you have to get the ink yourself. Um, it comes with this little stand here this is the only thing that's not um, tied down it's a rest for the quill pen you stick the pen in here and then the little stamp goes in here um, this is um, the stamp that came with it it has a little floor I think it's called a flory on it a flory design on it which you stamp your signature and your letters your old time letters to let them know that it's you and I really like it it has this sort of um, I believe these are dragons and a crown and like a little red jewel that's really pretty and then it has um, five additional um, quill pen bottoms because the pen has one already but these are five additionals can you see the one in the pen is sharper so these are additionals and um, it has this little spoon here I'm sure there's an official name for it but this is what you would put the wax in to pour on your letters to seal it with this stamp to denote your signature and this is a um, sealing wax stick um, you're supposed to light it and then let it drip into this and then um, you heat it up, pour it on your letters, and then you put a fixture seal to it. Um, and this is the full set, everything that came in the box. And I did have to get some additional supplies, um, just because, as you can see, it like it's missing some things. It's missing the ink. Um, I wanted a personalized seal, so. I did get a couple supplies and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys those. Um, the first thing I got was uh, these wax beads in um, all different colors. And um, they had, you know, of course, all variety of colors, but I really liked this color pattern for the same reason I wanted the red quill pen. 
so it can have those regal golds and reds in here um, there's oranges like an iridescent burgundy iridescent gold and then more of a matte um, yellowish gold orange and burgundy and then white so I'm really excited to use these colors to affix my official seal open it up I don't know why this is torn. It's never been used before. But here are the beads. And they have a really familiar smell. It's not bad, just a strong smell. But I'm excited to use these. And I believe, um, and I'll put the links to the products and the prices in the video, but I think this was um, a little over $4. I had originally um, gotten a um, six piece uh, ceiling stick set from Amazon. I think that was like $6.99 for six pieces. Um, and then I stumbled across these for about four-ish and I went ahead and got these because I felt like it was a better value. I was trying to be as cost effective as I could just because I didn't want to have to buy the set and then buy like a bunch of different stuff for it so these are about four um, next thing I got was some actual ink um, see this says black refill ink comes in a little bottle And um, they had, of course, like little jars like this that had, you know, the actual ink that you use, like pen ink. And this is like refillable ink. So I assumed it would be the exact same since, you know, it's just black ink. And I believe this was about uh, $4 as well. And the other ink that I was looking at was about like um i think the cheapest i found was like eight dollars and it went all the way up to like 10 and 20. so yeah this is a good value at four dollars um i hope it works well and um, the last thing i bought was this as you can see it's my initial right there for c open it up and this is a stamp with the wooden handle and it has the initial C engraved in it so that's a C and then it has um, sort of like a leaf or a flower in it and it pulls down I was afraid it would look a little bit like a G because of this little handle of the flower but it's definitely a C and this was the most um, cost-effective one I found as well they had some for I found a really uh, pretty one that had like a a laurel and a crest around it and there was one that had like a really pretty calligraphy um, design around the sea um, but those were about you know 10 11 12 dollars and I believe this one was around four or five dollars as well I believe on um, this the beads and the ink um, they may have been around fourteen dollars together something like that with tax all together 14 I think they were about four a piece and if I had got the other alternatives it would have been um, like seven eight and then like 12 so I did save a good bit so um, I am excited to see how this turns out when I stamp it in the ASMR video I just hope it doesn't look too much like a G and um, what's really neat about this is you can unscrew it and screw the stamp to the pretty stamp holder here 
So that's going to be really nice to try. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and free the items. See, they're all tied down except this here. Let me take that out. Take the ones that aren't. So these are all tied down. Let's try to pull it up. There we go. Looks like there was some glue sort of holding it together. Oh, it's string. I thought it was little twisty ties, but it's string. Get my scissors. Start. I hope everything doesn't just fall out. Let me see. Do this first. Everything's out except the pen, and it's stuck with the ribbon. I, I'm not going to cut the ribbon, but I want to keep it on the pen as well. So let me, ooh, I don't want to mess up the feathers. Pull it out. Look at that. Some glue string, I think. Let me put this up next to my hand. Oh, see, now I have a big hand, so this is a really nice size pen. How do you take the tips off? You just pull it out. Let me see. Yeah, just pull it out and then replace it. Okay. Put it back in. Okay. Now let me get the ribbon out because I really want to keep the ribbon on there. I hope I can tie it pretty like this. not as pretty as it was but it is tied back on there feels like it's gonna come off uh, oops. but this is the pretty quill pen Okay, there we go. So now the strings have all been removed. Place everything back in. Bit worried about these sort of going everywhere because they're untethered. Let's put the ceiling stick back where it goes and the little heat up spoon. Let's put it right in here. Here's the ink. I'm going to leave this out for a second because we're going to fill it up. Here's the little stand. 
Yes, the little stamp, but I'm going to go ahead and switch out the flooring for my C. So let me undo it here. Pretty sure they're compatible. Yeah, definitely. Very pretty. You know, it has a my C on it. Put this back here where it goes. I'm gonna put the flurry on the stamp here. And I'm going to put the little candle, take it out of the pack. Just a little tea light candle. Stick it in a little place right there. the quill pen right here and I'm gonna go ahead and refill the ink okay, so here is the um, ink vial right here the feather pen ink so let's open it up there. Gonna get the black refill ink. There we go, we finally got it. There we go. And let's fill it up. Self-inking stamps, 2,000 plus, made in Germany. So let me give it a quick shake just to make sure. Okay, let me open it. How does this work? Or do you just pour it through the tip? Maybe. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Turn it to the clear part so you can see it. Build. It's okay. enough. 
still a little bit left in here. Let me. Wait, did it spill? Oh, it didn't. Okay, I thought it had spilled down the side of the bottle, but I guess it just spilled inside the bottle. Oh, good. I thought I was going to have to wipe it up. Good, good, good. See, now it has ink in it. Put the top back on it. Hope it, hope it doesn't spill. Let me see. So far, so good. So far, so good. Put it in here. There we go. Let me put the top back on this. Still a decent amount left, enough for another refill. And so that is the end of the video. Um, I just wanted to do an unboxing of the set before I made the ASMR video. And um, that is it for the set. Um, I have the ink filled, I have my little candle, I have the full set to do some letter writing. And you'll be able to see in the ASMR video um, the concept that I'm going to be doing. Oh, but let me also show you the um, paper that I made. So um, I made, well, you know, I made two sheets of paper. Um, so this is the first sheet. Um, I found this pretty. Um, design I just googled it I think it's upside down yeah it's supposed to be like this this is the top right here so I found this pretty design and um, I put it in Photoshop and um, dodged it a bit to lighten it up because I didn't want to print a full page of this brown color because I don't want to use up all my ink um, but yeah, I, I dyed it a bit and, and lightened it. And then I cut it. Um, there was a little piece of border around it. So I cut it off to make it seem like it was a bit more old fashioned. Um, but I'm really excited to write on this. And this is just regular computer paper um, that I print the pattern out on. And it's really pretty. So that's one sheet of paper. And then the other sheet of paper that I made was this one. So I just found um, a pad, like a brownish pattern he here. And I put this in Photoshop as well and um, lightened and um, dodged the middle. Same reason, so not to print the whole sheet with this brown color. So I did that and I wrote in some old timey font God save the queen I am the queen <laughs> then I um, put this little special notation in the um, ASMR video I'll tell you exactly what this means and what it stands for and um, I cut the border off and I used a lighter to um, set it on fire on each side and blow it out so that's why the edges are jagged So, because as soon as I lit it I blew it out and I let this burn a bit too long so the G's gone but you can still understand it but yeah I think that's really pretty so I'm going to be using both of these sheets of paper and the writing set to do my ASMR video so it's coming soon and I hope you guys like it I hope it goes well but thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys later Bye.